Hey, what's up guys? So, I'm back with the uh, with the Dirty Six. And today, I'm really gonna try to get this motor out of here. Um, we left off with getting a bunch of this stuff disconnected, some of this more simple stuff. But today, I think that I've decided that I'm going to actually just remove this entire uh, radiator support. And so that's going to take the headlights out, the radiator, AC condenser, the crash bar, and this thing will need to go, the washer fluid reservoir. And then, yeah, so I guess I'm just gonna get started. I'm gonna take this, take this hood off, and then I might try to find a blanket and put it up onto the car, or just put it on that stack of tires back there. Oh, I also got my lights up, so I can actually see things in here now. That's good. And, yeah, we'll just see where this video goes. The hood is gone, so that makes a lot more room. It's easier to access everything. And then obviously you can't support the hood with this if it's gone. But as always, I put the bolts back into the where the holes I came from, so I won't lose them. And I'm really excited that I'm gonna take these headlights off now because that means I can clean them up and that's gonna be so satisfying. Just look how dirty these things are. Like you can barely even see inside of there. So that's gonna be a really satisfying thing when I do it. But, so yeah, these headlights are going to be next. And then after that, probably going to drain the trans and also train, or drain the transfer case. Next, it's time to drain this trans fluid. Looks to be in pretty good shape. Pretty disgusting though, I'm gonna have to get a new glove. All right, trans fluid is pretty much drained out. Now it's time to switch over to the transfer case. Oh yeah, also looks really good shape. Man, that's good. For anyone wondering, the uh, the fill plug, I did loosen it just to make sure. And another thing is the fill plug, drain plug, and the transfer case plugs are all the same are all the same size, and also this is the same size as a Speed 3, so that's really convenient that I don't have to buy more tools. All right, so all the fluids in the car are drained, and the only fluid I haven't drained yet is the rear diff, but I'll probably do that, like, right when I'm gonna get the car running. So, cause it's all the way in the back, and I'm not doing anything else back there, so I'm not gonna go out of my way to do it right now. I'm just gonna be focusing on the motor, but, Another reason I decided just to take this front clip off is that my AC was actually already empty. There was no pressure in it anyways, so I just decided it was worth it just to take this out since it's easy. I'm gonna make this a lot easier too. So next step, I'm gonna work on taking the crash bar off and disconnecting any wires and lines that are still hooked up to this, and I'm gonna be removing this.
as you can see, I got the front clip off. Look how much room we have. This whole power steering pump would have been so much easier without that on there, but I didn't plan on taking it off, so whatever. Doesn't matter. I think the biggest thing that needs to be taken off up front is probably the, the slave cylinder here. You could take it off from underneath with the front clip still in, but it's just so much easier now. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need a new one of these because my clutch pedal does absolutely nothing. So, the other big thing, I'm gonna need to take this little AC line off right here, of the compressor. And then, after that, I'm probably just going to go underneath there and disconnect the drive shaft. got the exhaust disconnected right here as you can see this one right here actually bent over to the side I thought it was gonna snap off but it didn't uh, they're both 14 mils and I also have the drive shaft disconnected it's that little flange right there there's four 14 mils so my next so my next big task is gonna be getting the axles out uh, these will be the easy part they're 36 mils yeah, but the hard part is going to be figuring out how to pop the drive shaft out of the transmission on both sides i think they're both clipped whereas on the three one side just slips in because the, the intermediate shaft holds it in place but on the six i'm pretty sure they're both clipped in on the inside of the trans so you have to pop them out so we're going to see how difficult that is so i was struggling to get the driver's side axle out for like probably an hour um so I finally decided that this pry bar here was too big. It wasn't, like this end is just too big to fit in the little space between the trans and the axle. So then I went and picked up this from Advance Auto. It was like $17, no, no, it was like $12. And I got it out in literally five seconds. This is how I got the uh, axle out of the driver's side. I took the upper ball joint loose. And then I just leaned the whole knuckle over. And I think that it's actually slipped out just enough of the transmission that I can just leave it like this and then it'll be fine. The only thing I'm kind of worried about is this brake line has tension on it. Like it's not a lot of weight, but this thing is kind of old. I mean, I guess worse comes to worse. If it breaks, I'll just buy stainless steel. So at least it's not like an upgraded one. So. We'll see if that holds or not. So the last thing that I really need to remove is this rear motor mount. It looks like it's just two bolts, one here and one here. I may need to remove these two as well because on the Speed 3s, it's a little bit different right here, but it shouldn't be too hard either way. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this out and that's pretty much everything so i think i'm pretty much all done underneath the car i may have to mess with the exhaust a little bit because one of the studs bent but i'll come to that later uh next i think i just have a couple things left up here like this wiring harness right here is still hooked up so i'm gonna go ahead and try to I think if you just disconnect it here here and get this connector off and then undo this ground for the battery cable. I think this harness will just go with the motor. So that's what I'm going to try real quick. I'm not sure how this is gonna come off. Probably just gonna have to break it. You can probably get this one off right here. Let's see, it looks like you just pull this little tab here and it just comes up. Yep. I'm just gonna have to get these. I'm gonna have to get this out and this out and then I think this will have enough room to come out. This whole harness does pretty much just go with the motor. 
But I did find an issue. You guys see that? This is really, really corroded right here. And this causes a lot of issues on the speed. There was this little guy right here. Those two pins back there. A lot of speeds have issues, like random issues that no one can solve. And it's just because things like this are corroded. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna fix the connector yet, but I'm, the best thing I can do is just try to clean it. And then I'm gonna put some grease in here so it doesn't do this again. But yeah, these are really common issues that give people headaches for months trying to figure out an issue. So next I'm just going to like look around the car and see if I can actually see anything else that's connected to the body. I already got this ground off over here. It goes right here on this motor mount, but I don't see anything else connected. So if I can't find anything else connected, I'm pretty much ready to get the hoist out and hoist it from right here take the motor mounts off so I did find one more thing well actually I guess two but the heater hoses there's one here and then this is the hard pipe for the other heater hose um, I think that's the only thing left that I can see but it's to get it off the heater hoses there's a little plastic clip right here holding this hose and then you can just take this clamp off right here and then that should be free and then the top one I just disconnected it right at the core because it was easier to reach than way down in there. So I'm pretty sure that that's it. Everything is off of the motor that's going to get caught or at least we're going to find out because I'm, I'm hoisting this thing. So I'm going to pick up a couple of little things, make some room and then I'm going to get the hoist out and then I'm going to get this motor out. I stopped the uh, time lapse because I was having a really hard time getting this motor out. But it's still hanging right here. Um, I'm gonna find a place to put it tonight because I have work for the rest of the week. But I really don't know where I'm gonna put it. I'm probably just gonna set it on the ground right here. And then next weekend, my engine stands right here I'm gonna get this flywheel off and put this on the engine stand so I can get the head off of this so leaving the axles in the hubs actually worked um, that I could get the motor out just fine if you're pulling a motor on a six I would definitely take this little pipe out um, well, I originally didn't realize that it came apart right here because on the on the speed threes they're just one downpipe and then another downpipe but this is actually three pieces and that would have made it a lot easier if this wasn't in here but I couldn't really reach these anyways and they're like rusted so you're probably gonna have the same issue but if you can try to get this off yeah that's pretty much all I have for today I'm just gonna find a place to put this engine so it's not in the way and then I'll see you guys next weekend don't forget to like comment subscribe I'll see you guys next time.